Hi, Ray G here, and today we're going to learn how to solve for the work done by a force applied at an angle. Now, we know that work is equals to force times distance. Okay, force times distance. However, uh, this is only applicable if the direction of the force is aligned with the movement of the object. However, in real life, you're not going to align yourself with the object that you're going to push or you're going to duck before you push an object. So what if you are going to uh, remain standing still and push the object at a certain angle or pull the object using a rope okay, at a certain angle? So that's what we're going to solve for today. So let's have our first example. In this figure, we see a person who is applying a total of 50 newtons using a rope with an angle of 160 degrees from the surface of the object which is parallel with the, with the ground. And during his work, he was able to pull the object 2 meters. So how much work did the person apply? First, we need to get the angle which is nearest to the horizontal. So even though 160 is attached to the horizontal, we still need to get the one which is nearest to it, to the x-axis. So what we're going to do is we deduct 160 from 180. So 180 minus 160. So the remaining would be the angle nearest to the x-axis, which is 20 degrees. Okay? Then after that, we derive the formula from work is equals to force times distance. So this time, the force is at an angle of 20 degrees from the horizontal. The function that we will be using is cosine. Because the 20 degrees uh, adjustment of an angle that we did allowed us to make the horizontal as the adjacent of the triangle if we are to make it a right angle. Since cosine theta is equals to adjacent over hypotenuse. Now the hypotenuse here is the force, the 50 newtons. So if we derive the force, that would be force, cosine, and then the theta or the angle times the distance. Now let us substitute the values. So we have force, which is equal to 50 newtons times cosine 20 degrees times the distance of 2 meters. Okay, so if we compute that, that would be 93.96 newtons. However, we have three significant figures, so we round it off to 94.0 newton meters or joules. Okay? Now, let's have another example. Now, in this example, instead of pulling the object, the object is being pushed at a certain angle. Now, the amount of force applied was 40 newtons at an angle of 150 degrees from the object's wall, okay, which is perpendicular to the horizontal. So, what should we do first? Again, get the angle which is nearest to the horizontal or the x-axis. So how do we do this, that this time? We deduct 90 degrees from 150 to get the remaining angle. So we have here 150 minus 90. That would be 60. 60 degrees. And then we adapt the same formula. Work is equals to force cosine theta times the distance. Substitute the values and we have here 40.0 newtons times cosine 60 times the distance of 5 meters. And that would be 100 newton meters or 100 joules. Okay, with that, we end our video. Goodbye for now and 